this is class number five of C-class, putting solo jazz and your partner dancing. And we did for our solo jazz step tonight, adding on to our routine, we did um, boogie steps, or sometimes what people call them, James Browns. What we do is we put our weight on our right foot and you just twist your right and you're dragging your left side to side and you put your weight on the left, move it and drag the other foot. We did it four times. So we went to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. We clapped on the eight count. So it went a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, we, the last part, this is like, we'll call this part B. Part C ended with one, three, five, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we go right into this boogie step. That was it, and then we did, we talked about how putting solo jazz in doesn't necessarily have to be specific solo jazz moves, like a shout or a Shorty George or something like that. It could just be a rhythm change, an accent, a footwork change, or, um, yeah, all of those things. So we um, put together a little mini routine tonight. We could do it to music for you guys, but right now you're all dancing in the other room with music. So um, this is what the routine looked like. So it started with a tuck turn. And we did a footwork change. Hip small change. Yeah, a send out with an accent on the five. And then we did a little rhythm change. And then we just moved it. different ideas and we hope you'll put it in your dancing. 